Hi, my Taurus. This is Mystical here with your reading from today, August 28th, 2020. And this is for the first half of September. So Taurus, I've been in your energy and I want to speak. This is message is going to be for some of my Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And we'll do the shuffle. We're going to look into a love relationship because what I'm hearing is clean up. Clean up on aisle nine. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I'm also seeing in the dream world, in the dream dimensions, you're dreaming of rebuilding with someone in your dream world. You're connected through your dreams. This is a very spiritual twin flame relationship I'm talking about here. Mm -hmm. Someone you had an ending with, someone you have a past life with, someone that you are connected of. You don't talk to them, you don't speak to them, there's no communication. This is someone you're working with in the realms to build the new world, the 5D energy. There's someone in your dreams that does not leave your dreams, okay? No one knows about this. This is something you're experiencing. And we're, we're diving deep into this. Yep. We're going to go slow and steady here. Wins the race. It says, new romance, Taurus, is imminent. Either with a newcomer or through reunited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Okay, so either you're in an age group here that I'm, I'm resonating with, you're in your 30s, or you're someone in your 50s and older. Why? Because we're talking about an ending of a chapter in your life where there was a judgment call. I'm feeling the judgment card here. And there's a need for the blowing of the horns. Like in other words, clean up the karma is what I'm hearing, Taurus. Now, if you're younger and you have someone definitely is coming in here to offer a soulmate connection or someone from a past. This could be an ex. Let's look into it. The message that came out. And I just got this reading for Aries and this same card came out. So Aries might be in your chart. You might want to take a look at that reading. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon the angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you. So I have a Taurus here and I just want to acknowledge my mom before I say another word. You know, I always give a shout out on your reading. My mom is in the heavenly realms and she is my spirit guide and her name is Yvonne. So I just want to give a shout out to all the moms out there and especially mom in heaven. I'm sending you tons of love. You're at the end of that cycle. The first day in September 1st, be aware of this date, brings in the completion. The Pisces full moon. You want to take a salt bath on that day you want to take in the energies of clearing and cleaning up whatever karma you had. I see someone here is at by an ocean, palm trees. Someone can be near the water here, taking a vacation, but ending a cycle. And the waters is the emotion that I'm seeing here. I see a Taurus here that's healing and going into a higher purpose where... The greatest good comes out of this connection. I'm seeing a twin flame relationship in my dreams. Someone who's building a home, not even doing it in the earthly plane in the 3D, but it's moving into the 5D is what I'm seeing. Something that's going to bring in a completion. And it's saying here, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? And which way takes me away from it. Now that is what I was feeling. You have a divine life purpose here Taurus. You are a light worker. You are a way shower. It's meant for you to shine your light. In this time that we're in now. You survived. You are a warrior. Look at those wings on this Taurus here. Taurus you know you are ruled by Venus. And we are in Venus tonight. I believe the moon is in Venus. 
and this is all about the, the last cycles we went through the summer months and coming into September is Mercury retrograde. This is the time when exes can come back for re-evaluating the situation. So we're gonna keep these cards and we're gonna pull one more card out for the angels messages for my Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and Jupiter. Okay. Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. You are moving into happiness. You are also moving into a higher level of wisdom and inner knowledge. You're ascending to a higher level, Taurus. And there's the ocean, the Oceana. The ocean is calling you here, I see. And I see the water, the swimming, rising to the top, bringing in the fruition of your dreams here. You've manifested your dreams. It says schooling, study, and education help your life's purpose and your personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process, Taurus. Wow. I see a Taurus here who is going higher leveled up on an education, mastering a skill here, coming to the highest purpose for the greatest good once again, and a Taurus here who has earned their wings. And you are also Taurus. Each card here is an angel with wings. This is showing me you are guided and protected. You have angelic presence all around you. Let's get some tarot cards out here. I also want to say the word apocalypse. And the meaning in the Greek way is the revealing the revealing of something. I pre-shuffled and I have the Nine of Wands. There's that wounded warrior, okay? And this is the revealing, coming something that is going to be revealed to you in the month of September, Taurus. It's the final destruction. The apocalypse is, is coming into the truth. Whatever was destroyed is about to be rebuilt. Nine, hanging on by a thread here. The wounded warrior also. Someone of, of fire can be in, in your chart or this is resonating from someone with you. Nine of wands with the page of pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. A very slow moving energy here. Something took a very long time. A lot of time was involved and someone here is feeling wounded. You are at the end of that cycle. It is safe for you to call upon the angels. You are ending it. Nine of Wands is that completion that's coming in in September, putting an end to that long-weighted new energy, that new life, bringing you to your divine purpose, a need for choosing also. I feel this could be someone new coming in your life or an ex. I felt that from the beginning, but we'll see. Let's get the energy and let's get some more cards out about this Knight of Pentacles in the past. I'm feeling this is the past energy. Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's that 10. There's that completion, Ace of Wands. Clarifying, you are at the end of a cycle. 10, completion. Now where you can take that Ace of Wands and start off something that you're new, passionate about, creative about bringing in willpower, bringing in inner strength. And the Ace of Wands is the Holy Spirit through fire, purification, the hand of God, Creator, coming down here to hand you this new beginning, something that you're very passionate about. Ten of Wands, you are moving to your higher divine purpose. Wow, okay. Now let's get four cards out for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's their energy? for September, the first half in September. Show me what we need to see for the first half of September. <clears throat> Three of Wands and the High Priestess. Okay. Taurus, your ships are coming in. And I have the High Priestess here showing us that. What is the challenge for my Taurus? The Magician. We'll get into it. Advice from the Holy Spirit. 
taking action. Outcome. Oh boy. The chariot and the king of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So let's talk. So there's someone here that regrets losing you, Taurus. They're at a loss. Five of cups. They have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. And this is someone that's in a very low vibration, missing you. There's a loss here. Someone that wishes they had victory with you. They see you up on this white horse. This is how they see you, Taurus. This person sees you as being in the limelight. They see others looking up to you. You gaining victory over this past, okay? You have fire in your chart, Taurus. But I'm seeing someone, the wounded warrior, coming out of what we call that apocalypse and starting that new life, that new beginning with that Ace of Wands, ending that chapter of your life and moving into ascension to a higher level that aligns you to your divine purpose because you are being aligned. Three of Wands. This is letting me know that your ships are coming in. Everything you've been wishing for and waiting for, they are coming in. The high priestess says, no, they are not revealed. Not all is revealed right now. There are still things you can't yet see. There could be things that are kept secret right now, but you are in divine timing. I see two, three here, the number two, three. And this is also letting me know you are in a very, you are the master at your intuition. You have psychic abilities here. You have a spiritual connection what, 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 what's behind the veil here. The unveiling, you already know about this. You are at a higher conscience level and aware, Taurus, of the mysteries that withhold from God Creator. She's holding the Torah on her lap here. That is the Old Testament. But what lies beyond the veil here, she's gone through the rabbit hole. She's gone through that rabbit hole. And now she's waiting. She's waiting for her ships. She knows intuitively she can feel that it's coming in. Yep. Your challenge is the magician is to think mentally sharp. You have all the tools within you, Taurus, to do this. This is number one. And I have one, two, three. One, two, three signifies movement going forward. You alchemizing, you turning base metal into gold. You have a golden opportunity here. And you've manifested this. You've been dreaming, daydreaming about this. And this is what's challenging you, is to take that podium, take that stand. Beautiful energy. The advice from Holy Spirit is the Knight of Swords. Taking action is required here. Moving forward making no haste and taking communication is what i'm feeling is speaking mentally sharp because you are aligned the chariot and the energy of king of pentacles this is a completion number seven you balancing the masculine and feminine energy within yourself you being aligned you see the star on the head here this is having willpower determination acceleration moving quickly so you can be traveling you can be making a physical move moving to a home moving but there's definitely movement and now king of pentacles is your energy taurus you being grounded you having that new pentacle in your hands here ace of pentacles hanging on to the to the to the wealth and the fortune that you bring that you bring in for september this is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Being satisfied here, accomplished, well done. Pat yourself on the back, Taurus. Give yourself that reward and reward yourself. This is uplifting, excitement coming in. It has to do with your wealth, King of Pentacles. Discipline, control, power. Disciplined very much. It's a divine masculine energy here telling me that you are the provider you are the wise one you are the provider you bring prosperous into your family this is someone who can be of a masculine energy that's 
that someone who's a father figure or a mother figure. Take it how it resonates. I'm reading the energy. But this is your masculine side, Taurus, coming in and being the boss. Being that business owner, starting that new business. Being the boss of your life and moving forward is the outcome. Let's get some clarifiers. So get clarifiers on Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. First half of September. I see one, two, three. This is going to be easy as one, two, three for you. Aligning. Everything's aligned for you to move forward and to take action because you are ascending to a higher level of prosperity in your life. Whoa. Okay. Where there was unequal give and take no longer. King of Cups. Someone with a water sign here. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is a masculine energy. It's also telling me there's someone here that loves you. Someone that loves you here. We're going to get more clarifiers. And this person, you may not know what you're waiting for. Yep, there we go. That five of cups energy. Back again. Someone here is missing you. They regret losing you. There is a loss here. And this person cannot get over you, Taurus, is what I'm seeing. Someone keeps you on their mind all the time. And now they're coming to make that decision. Someone has Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in their chart that you're dealing with, or Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. And this person wants to offer you a solid agreement. They want accomplishment with you. They're bringing in solutions. They're bringing in love. They love you here. Someone I feel... Someone that you know in your gut that you feel is coming in. This could be a father figure in your life or a mother figure. But there was someone here that cannot get over you, Taurus. Let's clarify the magician. Please clarify that magician. The challenge. The challenge is giving the love, giving that offer. Wow. You have Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Someone here loves you. This is overpouring love. This person also, with clarifying the magician, this is letting me know you manifested. They're manifesting you. This is your manifestation also. The magician knows the I am affirmations of bringing in self-love and confidence and happiness. You've manifested it. The cup is right on your table. This is having that soul connection here, bringing together a very high level of love in your life. Let's clarify that King of Swords. It's an eternal love, a supreme love. It's like having the ultimate love is what you manifested. Wow. And the Knight of Swords advice from the Holy Spirit. There's someone here that's blocking their heart here. Four of Pentacles still hanging on, still holding on. And the energy is the fool. A need for a new start. Having faith. A new beginning. This is Aries. It's being, sponta being spontaneous. It's a free spirit energy. Also, the fool here is aligned with God. He has God's protection here. Do you see this? And he has a little doggy here. And the fool is starting a new journey. Taking a risk and taking a leap of faith. Trusting your intuition. Yep, someone here wants to take a leap of faith with you. Let's clarify that chariot and the king of pentacles. So I have king of pentacles strongly on my table. Okay. And there we go. You are the high priestess, Taurus. This is your energy. This is also Pisces, but this is what I feel you are. You are highly psychic. You're taking your, your psychic abilities are rising to the next level. 
a need for studying and education will help you to bring into alignment your energy of the high priestess. Okay. Ten of swords. There was an ending here of a cycle in your life. Chapter finished. Ten of where you were feeling betrayed, lied to, backstabbed. And you've been hanging on. This has been quite some time. It could be 10 years is what I'm feeling. Queen of Swords energy. You are a divorced person. This is someone who's divorced. Someone that has gained divine wisdom, divine knowledge. And she wants to communicate, but she only speaks the truth. The truth will be known with the Queen of Swords energy. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. She is quite confident. She has power, authority, and is very, very intelligent. Queen of Swords. Page of Wands, Three of Wands. Here comes what you've been waiting for. Let me put it that way. This message is coming in from someone that's going to bring in a lighthearted energy to you. Someone that you had an ending, a breakup here with in your life is coming forward and they're like hey Taurus what you up to they're bringing exciting energy enthusiastic fun loving free spirited energy here and this is your ships coming in this brings in that fun spirited energy Taurus that is going to bring in communication and it's going to bring in that victory, that movement towards your desired goals. Let's get some love advice from our Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue here. And we're going to clarify for my lovely Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Huge, huge, huge time in your life, Taurus. Groundbreaking. That's why I'm using the word apocalypse. Because it's like you really don't know where you're going right now, but you're on your way. You know you're on your way. You know you feel it deep down inside. There's someone here that I want to say is coming to a mature level where they're balancing their emotions and practicality. What they see in the 3D world they want to bring in because there's a love here that can't be denied. Let's clarify the Nine of Wands energy from my Taurus. You deserve love. You are lovable. Cupid's arrows. Boom. New love coming in. Ending that cycle in your life where you felt you were standing on your own. Alone. Someone that was a parent here that was divorced that's been taking care of their children. And there's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming in. It says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. There's someone coming in here that has a passionate connection and a need for you, Taurus. It says, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? That is when you're communicating, I feel, with the Queen of Swords energy. So you have air in your chart, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius is what I'm saying. But there's someone here that wants to speak to you and it brings in a new passionate energy. So let's clarify this King of Cups and the Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. Faith and patience go together. A need for you to trust your gut and have faith in this person. There's a need for forgiveness also. There's a need for this person removing pride. This person coming out of the Five of Cups energy where they're feeling that regret, that missing you, that loving you. Cups is very emotional. Let's clarify this magician with the Ace of Cups. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. Let's clarify the magician. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Mm -hmm. There's a communication that's coming in. You can be with your friends or with your children. 
but this person is asking for an open mind here. They want to tell you how they feel. There's someone here that's bringing closure, bringing in a completion to your life. And it says, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And what I'm seeing here is someone is getting messages and there's angels all around this woman here. And she's feeling closed off. Nine of Wands energy. Blocking your heart here. Still not open. And it's saying keep an open mind. Because there is love here. The love that you have subconsciously inside of you. Someone that you've been dreaming of. Do you see the angels and she's daydreaming here? There's someone here that you do have love for, but you've been hiding it. There's a feeling deep, deep, deep inside where you feel you belong, but you keep telling yourself, no, nine of wands energy. And that is coming in where this will be bringing in a new energy so that we can bring a completion towards into a relationship here. Someone is feeling not loved. Okay, hang on, because the cards want to fly out. Yep. Okay. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords, the advice from the Holy Spirit. With, okay. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Mm -hmm. There's a saying, when one door closes, another one can open. So what I'm feeling is this is bringing in new love to you with the fool. Taking a chance. Taking a chance on new love here that's coming in. And that's the advice from the Holy Spirit. It says, someone new has stirred your romantic feelings. Let's take a look. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles with the chariot. Yep, someone has children. Your love life is being affected by children. So you have children. I'm seeing a parent figure here, a mother or a father that has children. Possibly, like I'm saying, someone that was in a divorce, someone that you were married to that you have children with. A mother or a father figure here. Where there was a divorce, a breakup, a shakeup, and it was for a long time, someone that you didn't communicate with. And it's saying, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Mm-hmm. So for those that resonate, there's an ex here that has been subconsciously in the, sub, in the subconscious. And it's saying, release that ex. Detach from the outcome. A need to detach. Or they need to. Someone here can't release you. Someone is worried about you, Taurus. They cannot release you. They're hanging on to you. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This is the whole reading to me. This is the whole reading. Someone is hanging on to you. Someone you dream of. This person can't get their mind off of you. Do you see this? This is someone praying here is what I'm saying for forgiveness. Someone could be coming to you on their hands and knees, Taurus. And asking you for, for forgiveness. And do you see the angel guides, the ancestors around here? Yeah, someone's coming to ask you and plead for your forgiveness. There's a need to stay open-minded here. A need to trust. You will know, you will know when somebody really wants to be forgiven. But it's a releasing energy so that you can complete that cycle. And so that you can make this decision, which I... Phil, you have new love. There's two options here. You have options. You have someone that's bringing in new love, a new love offer. And there's someone from the past that you have a soul connection that's in the dream world with you. And they're coming on their hands and knees to you, Taurus. Wow. Well, that is what I have for you, my loves. I just want to say a shout out here to my soul sister, Mystical. You know who you are, love. You know who you are. I'm sending you tons of love, Taurus. This is a huge spiritual time in our lives. And it is definitely bringing in that completion with the Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter. 
We have destiny all around us. Miracles after miracles are following us. I just want to send you tons of love and goodwill. And if it resonated, please hit a like and subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. And I also want to know how greatly I appreciate your comments so that we're resonating on a level and I know it helps someone out there. Sending you tons of love, Taurus. Bye.